Thank you. Yeah. Okay, welcome back. We wish we had better news, but... It's not the worst. Yeah. It's not the worst news, but it's not ideal. <laughs> it's, which makes this not super duper uplifting and exciting, but um, complete transparency of all the good and the bad of living on the road and in an old van. So last episode you would have seen feeling like we're at the end of Vance and we don't think he'll make it. So essentially what happened was we broke down. We were having like a compression issue or something and Vance just didn't want to go. He was just starting to run really, really hot. So we couldn't get anywhere. So we had to get a tow back to camp. Then it's just, yeah, it's been trying to troubleshoot from there. So I've had um, the T3 Owners Group Australia on Facebook who basically I then went straight to them as well as uh, my friend Doug who's worked on Vance in the past. Unrelated to any work Doug's done as well. He hasn't worked on the internal engine itself but all the other bits and bobs we've had, extra mods we've added to him. So between the T3 owners group and Doug, I've been talked through all different things that I can check to try and troubleshoot, cross off anything that it may or may not be. And now the only thing really left to do to really tell is a compression test, but Everyone in Exmouth doesn't care and doesn't really want to <laughs> want us to. Every mechanic in Exmouth. Yeah, every mechanic doesn't want to help us or do a compression test. So I've been informed by the T3 Owners Group Australia that I can do it myself. So <clears throat> I've got to get a lift into town to buy. Oh, I hope I hope they have a compression <laughs> test. I and mean, there's only one like auto store up here, I believe. And I'm just hoping they have a universal compression test that I can buy. And then they'll talk me through how to do a compression test on vents. But basically, I mean, it's not looking good, but it's more just confirming the severity of it all. And if it fails, it basically means a rebuild. So, which is not what yeah, we had planned. Big effort, mm. um, if that's the case. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so we basically just stuck here. Yeah. And then if that's the case, we need a contingency plan. Mm. So can't but, really jump to any conclusions until we've done that test though. So mm. it's a real uh, test to ourselves as well of not jumping to any conclusions yeah. and freaking out. Um, but it's yeah, it's not looking very good. So we lift the town, do a compression test. Whenever you're ready, yeah. Okay, how did that go? Nice. Not good. Good skill to learn. That's sort of where it finishes. Um, it's just a compression test on each cylinder. And one is good. <laughs> Second one is subpar. And another two are absolutely dreadful. So I will. It's not good. But I'm going to have to go to T3 Owners Group Australia page on Facebook. Tell them what we've found, because they were the ones that told me to do this. Tell them what we've found and then figure out what all this really means. But, not good. Yeah, not good. it's kind of what we expected yeah, though, Yeah, pretty hey? expected. Um, and no mechanic wanted to see us or do such a simple test that I can now do. So, <laughs> I'm glad I learnt it. Kind of disappointed in the mechanics in Exmouth, but, you know, it is what it is, so. I guess we've just got to make some actionable steps and probably get a rebuilt, I guess. Yeah. Fun times. <laughs> Finn doesn't like that no, idea. No, Finn's not happy about it. <laughs> okay, so we have a plan. It's been a pretty rough few days for sure, but now that the compression test definitely, it's nice to have like an answer, I guess saying that we will need a rebuild basically which means we can actually start planning for stuff so logistically we need to get Vance to Perth we've sourced a reliable person to do the rebuild or mechanics to do the rebuild but we don't know how long that'll take um, so we need to figure out how to get Vance down there then the engine gets out and then we need to get Vance taken to a caravan site and live out of him without an engine while the engine gets rebuilt. So <laughs> great. <laughs> it's, it's been 
logistical nightmare to be honest, but got a plan. Thanks to, I, I'm sure if you've been following us for a while, we cannot speak higher of NRMA roadside assist as well. Cause we have, yeah, basically they'll be able to cover the expenses of shipping vans down there, little toes in between and our transport to Perth, which will have to be flights. So cannot speak higher of them. That's made this a whole lot easier on the wallet at least anyway. Leo still doesn't know. <laughs> At all. He just thinks we're being glum. Oh, <laughs> mum and dad are boring. Oh, he's been the best, like, emotional support during all this. Yeah. It has been really <laughs> tough. Probably two days have been really hard, but now we've got some actionable steps. Um, it does make it a whole lot better. <laughs> but that leads us to another talking point, which was supposed to be a bit more of a secret and super duper exciting. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Leo's, um... <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're helping. <laughs> um, lead us to something that was supposed to be super exciting. Um, was we actually just before this happened, literally money had been transferred two or three days before Vance broke down. Is we actually purchased another adventure vehicle, yeah, which was going to be a really exciting time that we would <laughs> announce once we got to Adelaide, but instead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want another vehicle? But we, yeah, we wanted to, we'd organised everything, basically. It's been a long time coming. I've been looking for quite some time. We really wanted to get kind of like an old school four-wheel drive. And we finally pulled the pin on it. And then Vance, in his classic fashion, decided to cark it. <laughs> so um, that has made things even more difficult. Because, yes, Leah, <laughs> uh, more moving parts and more financial strain off the back of that. So we literally just dropped a bunch of money and now we have to do a rebuild. Now, the whole point of it was, the way it was supposed to go, was the vehicle purchased and being shipped to Adelaide, where we would do the build. We would drive Vance down to Perth. We'd get a full engine do-over, not a rebuild. That wasn't part of the plan, but basically sort out any oil leaks, give a big tune up, cross the Nullarbor, and then we were planning on selling Vance to. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh my God. Um, we were planning on then selling Vance on to continue a fun life of exploration, basically. Um, this is a blessing in disguise for the future buyers as well, I guess. We were planning on putting a bit of money into the engine, but obviously not a full rebuild. But now, basically, Vance has forced our hand. So we must... Yes, Leah. Good boy. And he's back. We must um, <laughs> get a rebuild, and then we'll basically have to... Depending on how long the rebuild takes, we're probably going to have to let the mechanics finish the build off in Perth and essentially Vance is open to offers as a fully kitted out adventure vehicle with all the bells and whistles and now a new heart so I mean who knows how many more laps around Australia he'll have in him now we'll be selling him better than we've ever had him ourselves which is yeah it's kind of bittersweet we're like man we're putting all this we're, we're putting all this money in and we don't even get to enjoy him with a full brand new engine yeah so we are now accepting expressions of interest on Vance we weren't really hoping it was going to be this way um but it's the way it's worked and it's essentially made Vance an even better vehicle to buy <laughs> So, he'll now have essentially a completely rebuilt engine and then everything else we've put into him over the past few years of travel makes him a really good adventure vehicle. So, it'll be either picked up in Perth by whoever wants to buy it or um, shipment can be arranged. We used a shipping company to get our future four-wheel drive from Melbourne to Adelaide, which was super smooth, so the same thing can be arranged as well. So yeah, we welcome any expressions of interest, whether that be through... Leo's interested. Leo's interested. <laughs> no. Uh, whether that be through um, commenting below, reaching out to us through, I think we have an email available on YouTube or um, Instagram as well. It's, yeah, it hasn't been smooth and it's been 
quite emotionally and mentally draining the last couple of days, but we sort of, we now, we've sat with it long enough and we've got an actional plan to where we, we're happy with how it's all come together. And this way we know that whoever's gonna buy Vance is gonna be buying a super duper, better version of Vance than we've ever had version that they can just hop in and get on the road. Pretty bittersweet, but it's just so classic that Vance <laughs> decided to cark it once, as soon as we got everything organized with the new vehicle. So this hasn't been the most exciting video and we are still yet to reveal what our future vehicle is, but I very much welcome any guesses in the comments below. It is the same year model as Vance and it's a four wheel drive. That's all I'm gonna say. So I'm open to suggestions as to what you guys think it is. We are very excited. Once we've got over this moment we've had with Vance, it's still really exciting and the future's looking awesome. So welcome expressions of interest. Keep following along for how difficult the next like month or two is gonna be because we're gonna have to ship Vance, so we're gonna live out of a tent, we're gonna, it's gonna be a shambles, but we'll be documenting it the whole way. So thanks for listening to, listening to my spiel. I guess we'll see you next week.